And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm your host, Nick Legato, and things on the SS Dicklick are not going quite well. I say Dicklick because it does belong to a Dicklick group of people, so, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we've... Okay, so, and it's been... And again, it's been another little duration because I've been busy with work and stuff, so... Knowing what I have equipped might actually help in the incidents to come. In the instances to come. As you can see, we're running out of room to carry stuff, material-wise. So well, those are things we'll want to keep in consideration uh, as we progress here. Let's go ahead and head down into the belly of the beast, one might say. And before we get around too far, let's go ahead and pick up the all-important, all-material we found down here earlier. So we can exploit it. EXPLOIT IT! And well, let's go through this door that we could not go through earlier. As we seem to be in a pretty dark place, but before we run around too far, there's a couple of things we may want to, you know, do. There's some enemies around here that I like to fight with because they have a good steal on them. These soldiers here, you can actually steal a nice piece of gear from them. Um, it's stronger than I think any piece of armor we have currently. Um, so I'm going to get a set of them, and I'm going to show you why we uh, pick them up. But as you can see, you got to be a little careful because they're. We've got some nasty little s skills there as we're blinded and put to sleep here. So I'm not a big fan of that. Oops. Did it again. Let's see. Uh, let's use some eye drops here. Pretty much just be happy taking at least one of these guys out. That way I don't get the crap kicked out of me. There we go. There's a Shinra Beta. It's a, Like I said, it's a piece of armor. You're going to want to get a couple of these. I think this is the only place in the game where you can actually get these as well. So if you're really hell-bent on having better gear, this is definitely the place and the time to pick it up for each of your characters, depending on how good it really is. I, I, I don't remember the specifics. I just remember that I used it as an upgrade in previous playthroughs. So... I am going to get at least three from this battle. You know, as you can see, I drag out battles where I want pieces of gear. Um, you know, so anyway, you can see this battle's pretty straightforward, so we'll see you after. Alright, so I had a little bit of a change of heart with the Shinra Betas. Um, I actually looked at it, and as neat of a piece of gear that it might appear to be, though it gives you more magic slot, and one extra magic slot, it gives you three defense better, but it drops your defense percentage to zero, and it drops your magic defense to zero. Which makes you, again, pretty for the most part, pretty vulnerable to magic attacks, which is not something I would personally take lightly. Um, get the Wind Slash here. I think that's a piece of gear for, Yo for Yuffie here. It's neat because it's obviously a double... You know, it's a double uh, growth weapon, so it's definitely worth uh, looking into. But at the same time, as you can see, it made us drop something. So let's drop the cover and put ice back in there. That way we're guaranteed that we're getting as much out of it. We're not going to use the elemental for obvious reasons. Restore ice. We could put long range in there, but that's pretty pointless. Um, not the enemy skill. Maybe a sense materia. The long-range attack isn't really that beneficial. The chocobo lure might be, but I'd rather put the chocobo lure below, honestly. So let's... I am going to put that in there. There's another all materia. There's fire. I could... Well... Fire is convincing. That does not need to be on the top row, but we don't have much of a choice. Especially if she's going to have the enemy skill materia anyway. So let's go ahead and... Put fire up there. And we'll put ice up there. There we go. Those should grow double now. Along with seal. Why lightning is not up there is beyond me at this point. So let's let's do that right now too. There we go. That way all the elemental stuff will be better. Uh, I think that's where... I think we'll be good. I, th I think so. Um, yeah, and then, like I said, when you get into the triple, you know, or the double and the triple growth weapons, it's just, you carry less 
magic, but at the same time, you learn everything faster. And the sooner I master this stuff, the more I can put it into the less important pieces of gear. He doesn't look like Sephiroth. He looks like he's dead! Time has come. Over the- over where? Holy crap. What is that? Sephiroth! Dun 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 Cloud. Cloud. Thinking, what are you doing? Time is now! This is like our first, uh... This is our first confrontation with Sephiroth as we face something very big and very ugly. Um, for the most part, we just want to hit him as hard and fast. Let's go ahead and use Chocomog. Um, we want to probably stay away from poisons, but since we got Limit, let's use Lunatic High. Um, he's not going to have anything to steal. Let's use Shiva. Let's introduce our new summon, shall we? Oh yeah. As we get Lunatic High, which helps because we need to be healed pretty quickly here. As we use our new he our new summon. Oh baby. Shiva, you naughty girl, you. Barely wearing anything in this cold, not a good idea. Well, that's how she always dresses, I mean, come on. As that summon does moderate damage. Nothing fancy or spectacular, per se. As we get hit by the tail laser. Ugh. Ow! Uh, Quake. Sounds like an option. Yuffie's ready to blow her load on a limit. Clear Tranquil, not so much. Let's go with Grease Lightning. Um, because we really don't need to hit... We don't really need to be cleansed of anything, so... I guess we could have gotten a little health if it does that, I don't remember. Not too concerned about it at this exact moment. Quake him again. Let's hit him with ice too. We got hit with the Wee Wee laser. Full two. As we're pretty much just bringing on the pain at this point. We have level two spells at our disposal. I mean, that's pretty cool. Because that, that, that right there is massive damage. See, let's try some mantra magic, see how that works out for us as we get hit here. Oh yeah. Bring it, buddy. Yeah, that's not as strong as the level two magic. It's kind of an in-betweener. Really is. He should be coming down to the wire here. Oh crap. No! He's been stopping to dead. Which I don't think we have much of a cure for. I don't think we do anyway. No, well, I could kill him and make him move again, but... We could try the speed drink, though that might be a waste of a speed drink if it doesn't work. No, see, it didn't work. Hit you with fire. The fire! Oh yeah. It will wear, it usually wears off, but, I mean, still, it's just one of those things you don't want to have to worry about. And it's not like he's probably going to limit break anytime in the near future, so, you know. And victory is undoubtedly ours. There was no question about our abilities here. So sweet! And the Chocomog leveled up, that's always a good thing. The more it levels, the more materia, summon materia levels up, the more often you can use the summons in battle, so... That's always a good thing. You don't say. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, we are victorious. And we now know the... That Sephiroth is the real deal. We're not just chasing a shadowy figure. We have unequivocally figured it all out. Mm -hmm. 
Sephiroth came back and killed President Shinra. And then just now, we saw Sephiroth. Yes, we did. I do know. He told me he wanted to go to the Promised Land with his mother, Genova. So he pretty much summed up pretty much the first six hours of gameplay <laughs> that took place in, in, Midgar, in Midgar. So let's pick up a new summon, Ifrit. I always will love having the Freet summons on me. But again, we get into a, in a little bit of an issue. We run out of room for the summon, pretty much. Unless we dump something. And I am usually, again, very against dumping stuff. But if we have, we don't have the room, we don't have the room. So I'm going to swap throw for Ifrit for the moment. Definitely want Revive in there. Those three have to be up there, so... We'll do it like that for now. I don't really need throw to level up because we'll have more opportunities to level that up later. So, just throwing it out there. But we need to get our summons up and level because summons sell really, really, really well for a lot when they get mastered. And honestly, at a certain point of the game, they start they start losing value. So, just let you know. Damn hot here. <laughs> yeah, you say that now, Brett. You say that now. I'm gonna use that sailor suit as pajamas. It's one of those moments where you can get more points for, uh, I wanna say Tifa. If you wanna date Tifa, who wouldn't? So it looks like the group, main group, is going to disperse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good to me. As Brett runs off. Uh, Alright, so finally we are free to roam Costa del Sol. Which really, it's got some stuff here for us to do, but n not so much. Nothing insane. Um, uh, and, but you, it'll all make sense as, a uh, great, look at who's come to play. The ominous music of Shinra, the new president. You know he's compensating for small penis syndrome, I think. Hedinger just needs to die, like, in a ball of fire. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to say. He just annoys the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're lucky you didn't get murdered. <laughs> uh, that's what you get for failing at your job, also known as your life. Because if you fail again, you die. That's right, Henninger. Stop screwing up, or your uppins will come. <laughs> Great, he's chasing the locals. What a jackass. What a fat bastard like jackass. And there goes the president.
So we finally get to move here. So welcome to Costa de Sol. Um, as far as things to do, I want to say there's a couple of things you can do here. Not a lot, but there are things you can do here. There's a fire ring here. Oh, why, thank you. Because I was going to take them anyway. As we get a power source and the motor drive. Don't worry so much about the motor drive for the moment. It'll be more described later. Just letting you know. Uh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, baby. I saw that. Who are you? What a jackass. Alright, let's keep moving. There's the bar. There's actually a few things here that you, we can do. A little bit of shopping we can also do, too. Um, here's the materia store. I think everything here is stuff we've already got. So, we're good with that. We don't need any materia. Which is usually a good thing, because, you know... Let's see... This must be the item shop. Pick up any items you don't really have any of. As you can see, I'm picking up softs. Because there's nothing worse than being turned to stone and you have no way of undoing it. Um, and I think we're good. Five is probably enough for now. Oh no. He's sitting there checking himself out. Oh, that's just terrible. That's just god awful. <laughs> Moaning ever since. What the hell is he doing in there? Oh my god. You know what? I just I don't want to know. I I'll, let's call it a night. I just I really don't want to know what he's doing in there, because there's some things in life that you know you just don't need to know. And the way and Brett farting around and dr playing dress up, you know, something I would worry about. Let's move out. Okay, so there's the inn. I still haven't found the item, sh the uh, weapon shop, or armor shop. <laughs> and watch, later in the game it makes Sephiroth go ten levels too high. I don't think there's any... I know there's a shop here. Nope. Not there. I know it's around somewhere. I know there's a weapon shop. Maybe it is this and I just screwed up. Looking for souvenirs, we recommend butches. You are completely useless. Bastard. Um, let just head down. This leads to the beach. Where I see nothing of importance to us. Do I? Yeah, no, I don't see anything. Alright, well, that was a waste of time, too. Just one cavalcade of failure after another. You, know, you can't, you can't take me freaking anywhere. Uh, let me see. It has to be in here then. I remember it was in a building. And it was some random guy. Maybe this guy. No, there. I knew there was some. You, you got to get it from somebody. I know they're here because they sell the platinum bangle. The platinum bangle itself is a neat piece of gear as it offers double materia growth. Now, if that's something that's important to you, go ahead and pick it up. Not a bad deal. They have, carry a four slot and a carbon bangle, but honestly, not a big fan of either. Um, I might get one platinum bangle, but as you can see, it drops our defense kind of low. Um, but I'll pick up one just to demonstrate. See, it's not even a good piece of gear, even. It only double slots two slots. So you're already giving up a lot of slots to gain experience from. So. My recommendation usually is to avoid them, 
Unless you're just trying to level up elemental materia, but even then, it's it's not really for me, um, personally. So, let's see, now that we've done all of that, there's even a house here somewhere you can buy, I think. I think it's here, even. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's not here, I don't remember. I know there's, like, a house here. We don't have Tifa in our party, so... Eh. Alright, so now that we've pretty much done really all that we can do, I don't think there's much more that we can really do. Um, like I said, we're back, you know, this is back at the bottom here. Can't go over there. Can't see anything on the beach. It's probably because of my party layout, but there, there's actually a couple of side scenes here that I can vaguely recollect, but I think you, it depends on who's in your party when you get off the boat, or if I change party members now, which I can't do, so never mind, I take that back. So, whatever. Let's get out of here. We're all done. As we leave Costa del Sol, it's such a small little area, there's not much that you really can do here. And once we're outside, as you can see, we can reach and see the PHS again. We're going to go ahead and save. Oh, I feel so much better. I just fired out a massive deuce. I could have taken over like a third world country with it, you know. I think small nations would have been proud of it. They would have wanted to use it for their nuclear weapons program. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so let's keep moving as we have to head pretty much. There's only one way to go as we fight a weird looking Russian thing the Grand Gallon. I don't remember what exactly is so interesting about them. So, let's see if we can steal from it. The usual. Nothing to steal, so that means I kill it with fire. Uh-oh, here we go. He's starting to make size changes here. Let's take out the smallest body, then. Oh, no. Not the silver wheel! Not my gumdrop buttons! No! As there, we end him. We'll end his big friend here momentarily as he just hits us with another silver frickin' wheel. Oh, yeah, the battle is won. Victory is mine. I think we couldn't handle, right, guys? <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking an instant messenger and I shouldn't be. Not one doing episodes. This is a friend of mine is having to sharing stuff with me. All right, let's keep moving here. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. As I see something over there, is that what I think it is? I don't know, Frank. What do you think it is? It's a cave. It's a big ass cave that we can't go in because I gotta go in this cave. Um, as you can see, there's nothing really over here, so not much to see anyway. As we're in another battle here. Is it against a get Grand Gallon again? Yeah, we'll see after the battle. Alright, took care of that. Rotate the camera. Let's go ahead and head in the freaking cave. Which should take us to the next dungeon. The small little dungeon here called Mount Coral. And we have to jump up here. We can talk to Gramps here. You're actually talking to me. No! I'm actually poking you with a stick to see if you're even alive. <laughs> I just passed a guy in a black coat back there. Well, at least he didn't kill you. Sephiroth! Okay, so let's go ahead and head ahead. Well, neat thing about Mount Coral is that there's a lot of uh, enemies that have big groups here. So... Mantra Magic is going to be your, your pretty much your leveling machine here, or what will help you level significantly faster. Um, we also have multi-hit magic and all kinds of other things too that we can use to kill off multi-targets and anything that kind of just gets in the way at this point. And there's frequent save points, so nothing too severe that we have to deal with specifically, but at least we've taken care of that. And this way I can get um, Yuffie and Red 13 out of the party. They've been in it for a long time, and it's time for me to start bringing Brett 
Tifa and Ares back in at some point real soon. As you can see, we reached some sort of Mako reactor here. <clears throat> what it means, I don't know. Alright, let's keep moving. Not much we can do on the left side, and obviously the door's not going to open, so let's keep going south here. The first time I played this game, I thought I was stuck. Alright. So now we reach this little, neat little quaint area here. And you'll see in a moment there's going to be stuff that we got to do. Nothing dramatic, but I mean, it's still stuff. As these guys, we probably won't use our enemy skills on, but definitely want to give one. If at all possible. Because they only come in pairs, but I'd rather not be killed by cockatrices today. I think that's what they are, too. That's why... You can see I'm going straight for the kill. Yeah. Or Cockatolus, which is the cock it's a cockatrice. In other words, it's the creature that turns you to stone. So I give it as quickly as possible. I do not like being turned to stone. I don't like the thought of being turned into stone. And thus, I kill anything that threatens to turn me into stone. Uh Let me see, let's heal. Not that I need to do it a lot, but, you know, a little, it never hurts to be somewhat prepared. As we're thrown into a, yet again another battle. Nice. Restore had leveled up, so that's always a good thing. Nothing like having uh, Cure 2, you know, to make things a little better for you. But there's nothing over there of importance. Okay, let's keep moving as I wasted time fighting. I did fight a new enemy, I fought bombs. And I totally apologize for not showing that, because I know you guys may have wanted to see it. Um, but they're like bombs in any other Final Fantasy game, so I do apologize. I will attempt to remember to show it to you guys at another juncture. I'm going to go ahead and save, because we've got a lot of stuff to do coming up. Alright, amigos, we're all saved up. Let's move. Now, one of the things we want to do is we're going to get into this little area here where we're going to want to stay on and off the bridge. And it'll make a lot more sense as we progress. Don't worry about it so much now, it will make sense later, but um, do know that there is a reason we uh, we are going to do some of the things in this area to uh, benefit us. I know that, sound, that didn't come out quite the way I was hoping it would. Don't worry, just watch. It'll all make sense to you momentarily. As we go ahead and waste Cloud's Limit Break to end this cockatrice's life, mainly because the more you use the Hit the Limit Breaks, you'll learn a second one. And since I don't believe he can be removed from the party, I'd like to get rid of him now. And I might do some limit grinding just to get Yuffie and Red 13 done and over with. I would like to finish with them. And we're not, we're not, I refuse to press it because as we fall, and you press circle as fast as you can, we may be lucky. I really hope so. I think we did it. I, th I think I overdid it. Um... Nope, we did it just right. Sweet! We get a wizard staff. As you can see, there was one on the other side, too, so you'll want to keep that in mind. Don't worry about it now, we'll get another opportunity. We get the W machine gun, that's obviously an upgrade for Barrette here. So definitely uh, something worth getting, because we do want him to be used in our party more, a little more frequently than he has been. And this time, we're going to fall down and move all the way to the right and hopefully we get to where we want to be I think we may not have made it I get the feeling I missed it no no I made it nice we get a star pendant for our trouble nice okay so now that we've done all of that we don't really need to fall down anymore so if it comes up, you may want to avoid it. So we pick up a Turbo Ether, which is pretty much just a souped-up version of an Ether. If you get a chance, steal from bombs, because you have a chance of getting the bomb arm, which is really, really, really strong. Um, the other thing you may want to pick up as well is uh, maybe softs from the cockatrice enemies, but that's up to you how you what you want to do. Is I wasted a whole bunch of time talking about it. Okay, and oh, no, 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 don't need to fall anymore, we grabbed everything, that's the transform materia there, 
Something that if we have a free slot to use it, then we'll use it. But until we have a free slot, there's no real reason to. Let's head south if we can. I think there's something down here of interest, maybe. I don't remember. Yeah, an area we can't really do much with. That's it. We can't go until the bridge is down. <clears throat> okay. You can see they were using emotes a long time ago. Uh, let's move on. Like I said, I'm going to master one way or the other the skills required by the other members of the party here. Since they're not quite there yet. You know, I, I need UP and Red 13 to learn their limit breaks, their next set of limit breaks at this point. Um, if worse comes to worse, I will... There will be a time for us to swap roles here for that, but I'm not worried about it right now. Okay, so let's keep moving. So we make our way across... Down, 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 and in. Okay, do it. Do it now. You idiot. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, no, put the bridge down. Nice. Sweet. So that'll help those clowns get across as I hear something. you hear it too? And I find it. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's go up here and you'll actually find a neat little treasure. So a lot of people miss it. Um, unless they're using a guide, I'm sure. That's, that's when they see it. The rock! I see a big ass rock and it's really big and shiny. And we're obviously going to take the damn treasure. <laughs> As Yuffie agrees completely. But apparently we've pissed something off. So now we have to deal with that. Great! Uh oh. It's a cockatrice. An unhappy one too. Send him with the sledge fang. Um, I don't want to use magic really. Not giving me much of a choice though. I'll just see if I, I'm trying to avoid using the limit break because that's a, like a free healing, in my opinion. So I'd rather not use it since we have a lot of health. All right, battles won. We get ten phoenix downs for our trouble. Yay! And we jump back down, almost falling to our doom. You know how these games are. They don't mean it. They just want it to look funny. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute, now we gotta go back and around. So, now that we've done that, there's nothing up there. Now we gotta go back across the bridge, and then just to go back down the southern bridge. Alright, battle one. We have to make our way up and over. Up and over, mate! Reepy deep 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 Out we go. Um, as we take a jump. Let's take the southern route, which should lead us to pretty much out of this dump. Do 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 do. All right, and we're walking. Yeah, do, 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 do. I don't even think I've run into all the enemies available in this dungeon either. As I think this is the way out, as the other direction doesn't really lead to anywhere specific. Now we got a long bridge to cross. Which I believe is full of battles. Not that there's battles or bugging me, but it's just more fighting. Alright. As we keep moving, running, running, running. And out we go. Okay. Do 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 do. As we reach a new locale here. Some place called North Coral, as you can see by the sign. As it appears, Brett just got punched. From 
Most crawl turn into a garbage heap. Why don't you say something? Ouch! Talk about jackasses. Well, we know that this is obviously pro pretty much where we know Brett is from here. As he is not a very... He looks kind of down in the dump. Hey, big guy. It's not a big deal, man. Just, just walk it off, big guy. Don't take their shit. Shove your gun up their cornhole and pull the trigger. Okay, maybe I'm just being a little... A little dark. <laughs> Uh, just kill them all. Anyway, so now that we can roam around town, there's not much really here um, for us. There's a small makeshift inn. It's cheap to stay. I recommend you, if you haven't learned Yuffie or Red 13's Limit Break at this point, if you're following along and trying to play like I am, this is where I would probably want to do it. Um, I believe there is a save point somewhere in town. There's also one very commonly missed item. Uh, I found it my second playthrough just because I wanted to try things out. Where is it? You have to wait for this. Where is it? Ah! Didn't mean to walk in there. Just to see a miner. Not a, a, a miner. Not a. Oh, damn it. It just doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. That didn't sound right either. You know, maybe I should just keep my mouth shut. Oh, God. As you can see, there's not much really, again, not much really here. What it is, is that there's actually an item here. Thought. Yeah, there it is. It's one of the most missed items, I think, in Final Fantasy VII. And it's not even a great item. I mean, it's just an ether, but still. Ethers are ethers. These guys are all shops. If you do feel the desire to buy, you know, you can do that here. There's not much really, you know, but unfortunately this town doesn't just, just really doesn't have much. You can listen to the story if you want, I don't really care. There's Transformatory if you missed it on the mountain. Obviously we didn't, so we're not going to worry about it. And weapons, let's see what they got for weapons. The Force Stealer, which is something we could have gotten earlier. I actually think that's what I have equipped. Yeah, carbon bangle and the Molotov. So again, other things we just don't really need. So this town doesn't really, honestly, have much to offer us. Pretty much, it's a, it's a well, uh, you know, it's a, it's a shithole. You know, I won't, I ain't gonna lie, ain't gonna lie, it's a piece of crap. Um. Anyway. So this is definitely the way we don't want to go, because we're not ready to go this way quite yet. Let me see. Let's go this way. We want to go towards Gold Saucer. Don't ask me why. Uh, you can ask me why all you want, it's just not going to be pretty. Let's just leave it at that. There's one thing I hate about RPGs, and it's minigames, and places that seem to make little to no sense. So, just saying. In just four years. Well, why did he get buried? Well, very dark of you, Barrett. As we get this dark story probably told to us. Okay. Looks like it's run by Shinra, too. So what is this? What are we gonna do? The only one against this is Dine. No matter what, there's nothing to talk about. You're just gonna throw away our coal. Okay, so they're all a bunch of coal miners. And everything went nuclear, nu nuclear, nuclear. <laughs> Wow, Brett was married, huh? That's a scary thought. Doesn't sound like
like he's gonna understand very much here. Yeah, or at least he doesn't seem like he's willing to give it up. Okay. Wow. The fire! And it burns, burns, burns like a burning ring of fire. So it seems like Corel was burnt down by Shinra? Did I read that right? So how is this Barret's fault? It sounds like bread has been blowing up Mako reactors for a long time. Maybe. We don't know. It's not very descriptive. But I lost my wife, my Mirna, too, huh? Alright, well, let's get on this stupid ropeway since that's really all there is for us here. Yeah, we were. We was close ever. We was close ever since we was kids. Fool. Fucking miners. Tell me I don't know how to like dig no coal. Come on. You didn't think that was. Ah, whatever. Blow it out your ass. I have to do the Mr. T once in a while, guys. It's just part of the routine. As everybody finally decides. To get on the freaking train. And up, 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 and away! As we go up, and actually there is a little goof up here. If you look, if you look closely, you notice that the propellers are facing the opposite direction of the way we were going. It's the only place in the game where you ever see this. So a little bit of a interesting tidbit there. As we head to probably, in my opinion, the most insignificant place in the entire game, but it's the source of a lot of the major side things that you can do. When I came here, I think the first time I played this game, I was not impressed. I, I just don't, I'm not impressed by these things, but I know a lot of people love Gold Saucer, so in we go to probably the place that will be the bane of me, I swear. You know, I, I am not like most people, I'll tell you right now. So just try to bear with me when I do say I hate Gold Saucer. Not for any mean or cruel reason, I just... It doesn't appeal to me, honestly. The whole concept of it doesn't appeal to me, but it's a nice place to do a lot of neat stuff. Oh, we don't have any GP. Ugh, go figure. You have to head down and around. Welcome to the Gold Saucer! 3,000 gil, huh? I don't even know if I have that much. Yes, I do. I was almost worried about that. Okay. 10,000. Well, at least we know. Let's go ahead and head inside the amusement park from hell! As there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different places for us to go. It kind of becomes a clusterfuck of different things. Let's have some fun! <laughs> Even though, yeah, I don't- I agree, it is not the right time to do this. It is time to kill! Wow, Brett, don't be a party pooper. Let's go ride the roller coaster together and make racial slur jokes- racial jokes till our heads explode. Come on! Come on! Let's see. So play! Messing around, motherfuckers! Don't forget we're after the Sephiroth! Whining little bastards. As he runs away. <laughs> wow. Um, now you get a choice of who you want to go with. 
I like going with Tifa. Oh, Now we'll go with Tifa. Me personally, that's my preference. I'm sorry, Ares, you just don't do it for me. And I know people are yelling through the screen, you know, What's wrong with you? You bastard! Personally, it's... It's just, it's not a, it's nothing personal, really. Just telling you how I feel about it. As we reach the ghost hotel. Which is a neat little undead little place, it looks like. Here's a shop in here. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, God. Welcome. Welcome. Says Mr. Hangman. As you can see, they don't care. Again, just consumables. There's the only thing new here: are the cornucopias and the maiden's kisses. Pick up a few of them just in case you ever get hit by it. You know, you never freaking know, man. And then, boom, you have herpes. You know, you just you got to make sure you're always ready for. Oops, I saw something else there. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's probably nothing that too dramatic. And then, you know, something bad happens. <laughs> see. Oh, damn it. What do you want, Mr. Hangman? Okay, it costs GP to stay, so we can't do that. I thought there was... Okay. I know there's a safe point around here somewhere. Then it must be somewhere else here. Let's go to a different square. Let's go to the battle square. I, I would assume it'd be there. It's either there or Wonder Square. Yeah, it's not there, so it's Wonder Square. Well, it might be. What is it? He yeah, has tell me. Renovating, you jackass. Um. I went, I'm going. This is going to take me back to the station, so let's go to Wonder Square. I am looking for a safe point at this point. What is, what is this? What are, you, what are you? You look like a giant cat. Oh, I'm a giant, weird-looking thing with a cat on its head. Okay. My name is, and we'll just go with a standard name, Cat Sith. Kate Sith. It's not Cat Sith. It's Kate Sith. Based. It's. It has to do with um, Tiernan Nog and the and the Irish, Northern British, Scottish, you know, gods and crap. But it's ca it's Kate Sith. It's not Cat Sith. Even though there is a cat upon it, it is Kate Sith. I believe. As we're about to get a probably a shitty fortune here. Damn responses. As I, you know. I instant messaging again, and I shouldn't be. Uh, come on, Kate Sith. Enough of your stupid failures, right? Oh no, now he's going in super overdrive to give us another fortune that's probably going to be useless. Okay, Kate Sith. Well, that was stupid. Well, I guess in I guess in Gaelic it would be Kite Kite Kate Sith. Kite Kite Sith. Kite, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna sit here and figure out the fucker's name. I'll just call him whatever. Call him Kite Sith. Kate Sith or whatever. And anyway, this jackal is now in our party. Kate Sith is an extra inter interesting character, but he's not my personal f favorite for many reasons, which will be discussed at a later date. Um. He also could use Materia. I guess I should have put... Gotten Red 13 in the party, maybe, kind of, sort of. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out later. Anyway, I'm not having any luck finding a save point, so we'll just call it here. And, uh, and the next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, the Gold Saucer. Adventures in Gold Saucer. We'll see you then.